Hi, hello, how are you? I am the Storyteller and welcome to Let's Try Echoplex, where we'll be testing out the demo of the early access cyber horror puzzle game Echoplex, in which you navigate testing rooms, not unlike those of Portal, whilst trying to avoid a spectral copy of yourself, your Echo, that's chasing you and repeating exactly what you've just done. Echoplex has been developed by Output Games, and is, I mean, this might just be me, but it's a game in a genre I don't think I've seen very much of, a horror puzzle. I'm sure they exist, but it's not something I've played very much of, so I'm very interested to see how this plays out. I did a little, I, I did a little testing of it earlier on whilst I was just sorting out my sound, and it did manage to jump scare me. So, I, I think it's earned horror puzzle as a genre, at the very least. That said, let's see what you think. Escape the Echoplex. Right. I've actually played this starter section of the game already whilst trying to set up um, trying to set up the uh, sound. So I know what to do. You have to pass through these gates to open the doors. Go into a blindingly yellow room, which just oh god, it's horrendous. That room is awful. And then this is about as far as I got. I think I accomplished this puzzle when I was doing my sound test. But yeah, you have another puzzle, and this is where the actual premise of the, premise of the game kicks in. Your echo appears and repeats exactly what you're doing. That's the creepy bugger right there. And then if you touch him, you reset. So you have to move in a way that makes sure he never moves where you want to move or else you're going to have to wait for him to move out of the way, dodge him, or just touch him and restart. It's, it sounds like one of those things that's easily done, but in practice actually plays out really annoyingly. Tiger Trap. Okay, I don't remember this one. Uh, it taught me to run though, and I already know how to do that. So... Yeah, I've got a, Oh, I think there was another gate there. If I have one complaint so far about the game, it's that, and this is maybe speaking as a colorblind person, but some of these colors are very difficult to pick up, and especially when they're over, overlaid on the same color, I'm sure there was another gate back there. Where's my echo? He should be... Is he trapped? Um, I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay, no. He's, um... Yeah, he's trapped. Uh, yeah, as I thought, some of the doors that I opened and closed have shut him in. So if I go back, I will be able to let him in. And yeah, there's another game there. That is almost invisible. But see, I can let him in, and then I can run away because he's... Oh, I'll just let him go by. He's super creepy. I'd rather run behind him. At least then I've got an opportunity to... Oh, no. Okay. That's what I mean. I wasn't expecting him to turn there because I'd forgotten that he turned there. And that's on me. That's my fault. But yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so I need to pass through there, wait a little bit, open the... I need to not do that. That was <laughs> that was wrong. Okay. Yeah, I need to remember where I'm standing. And yeah, so if I... If I go over there and then change to the other side of the corridor, so that's not going to happen this time. That's on me. That was dumb. That was, that was my fault. But now he's following me, so I have to keep moving or else he's going to catch up to me. Um, at least I think he is. Is he? Is he, is he got, how has he gotten stuck? Oh no, he's not stuck. Okay, he's coming. He's coming. So now I'm going to pass through this. It'll lock that door. I'll move slowly, give him a chance. And he must be coming. There's no way he got stuck there. I think he's, yeah, he was just following back where I went looking for him. And that's that. But hey. Okay, so there's the clock ticking. I think some of these doors might be timed. Yeah, okay. Um, ah, that's it. That door is timed. Okay. So I need to get to that door with... <laughs> I need to let my... I think I need to let my echo in? No, I don't need to let my echo in. No, I'm thinking about this all wrong. There was nothing for it to activate in that room. I need to not get stuck in that room, for one. And, okay, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess I'll, <laughs> I guess I'll restart. Or t I could have touched him, I guess, but... He kind of creeps me out, if I'm honest. He's a bit of a creepy guy. Uh, that is largely part of the appeal of this game for me so far. 
uh, the horror the horror puzzle genre. It's not something you usually see mashed together. I don't, whoa, what's happening there? Again with the colours. I could, I thought I could glitch through the wall for a second there. I could see through it. And I got stuck in that room again whilst I was doing that. But the colours, some of them are just so bright and aggressive. I don't I'm not a fan of the colour scheme for the game. I love the minimalist design, but some of these colours are just there needs to be some differentiating between the walls and the floor because I cannot see where I'm going and again this might come down to my own color blindness but I just can't see where I'm going with this so right and now if I make it through there we go I was sure that was gonna close right before <laughs> close right before I got to it Okay, so if I go through this yellow, yellow gate, that'll lock that, and, oh good, there's another door along here. So, I guess I have to get, can I get him trapped? No, okay, he passes right through the door. So, um, the markings on the edges of, edges of the doors must mean something, but I can't quite make them out. Yeah, I need to give, give myself a little bit more time before he crosses that threshold I actually got stuck on that puzzle unfortunately I'm sure I'm sure there are, uh, you're watching at home thinking ah oh, that story that's an easy puzzle you're an idiot and I'm sure I am but yes I couldn't work that one out despite more tries than I'm willing to admit but I did have fun with Echoplex Echoplex is quite an entertaining game with uh, nice, nice little quirky mechanic to it. I had an art style that grabbed me. Aside from the obvious color problems, uh, I will point out this is the earlier release demo. So perhaps in the uh, full release, some of these problems are fixed. But whether it was bumping my head into doors and listening to the stupid noise, or scaring myself on purpose by letting the uh, letting the echo stand nearby I had a lot of fun with Echoplex there's definitely an audience for Echoplex even if that audience doesn't happen to include puzzle impaired idiots such as myself but if you're into puzzle games I'd rate it as a buy I'm the storyteller and thanks for watching